my win was going to be, it was bigger than me. My win was for all those people who felt like they could not win because the odds were, you know, set against them. What's up, guys? I'm Joe Drake. Welcome back to Drag Us Weekly, a show where we try to drag the truth out of the cast of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star 6. This week, I am joined by my friend and my special co-host, Travis Cronin. Hi, Travis. Hey, Joe. So excited to drag you and us. Yes, let's drag each other. But we have an even better special guest. It is the one and only Trinity K. Bonet. How's it going, girl? It's going great. How are you? I'm good. I I have to admit, I'm sad to I'm sad to talk to you because that means that means you are the eliminated queen. Oh my God, that's what that means. I guess unless oh there's another God. twist. Oh, I'm wait, I hope so. I'm waiting until I have the coffee and say we're just playing. <laughs> yeah. Well, and also you you deserve a redemption. Did they ask you to lip sync with somebody? <laughs> Girl, they gave me two opportunities and I fucked them up. They was like, no, nah, don't even worry about it. Just send them home. <laughs> I love it. Well, I got to ask, and I'm sure Travis wants so too, and everyone has been wondering who the queen that was going to return, who would it be? And it was, of course, Eureka. What were your thoughts on her coming back? I was perfectly fine with her coming back. Anybody else, I, I would have felt some type of way. Like, she put in the work. I thought that she was great to see that season two. Um, and I knew she was passionate. So if anybody was going to return, it should have been her, you know. I just, not to take anything away from, you know, Silky, she really, really showed herself. And I think that one episode summed up everything about her that has grown as an artist and as an individual. And you got to see how talented and creative she was. So she didn't even necessarily have to come back to the finale. She had did all of that in one walk, you know, in one episode dedicated basically to her. So, yeah. yeah. For sure. Oh my God. It was so cute to watch Eureka pull you aside and say what she said to you, that your flirtations meant so much to her. How did that make you feel? And were you being really flirty? Did you want a little piece? Uh, well, well, you know, I mean, I'm not, well, let's just be clear. I'm not a, a picky individual. So I'm all about, if you love me, I'm a love on you. And our flirting and getting along wasn't like, um, sexual or anything it was just like a, a very uh, kinetic energy like i knew that i needed emotional support and i knew that she needed emotional support and it just made sense that that was my bed you know and we'll lay on the couch and eat chips and cuddle and talk and kind of confide each other about about the experience and it just made her get really really close to me i've always knew her but the experience just made her closer to, to me so um yeah, I've always felt like, you know, relationships aren't sexual or, you know, anything of that nature. Relationships are a bond and a sense of understanding and being around somebody that you can stand being around for 10 minutes other than like roll, you know, having to roll your eyes at you, you know, so. Right. Well, that's yeah. why I loved it, because it was like a very genuine uh, moment for Eureka to say to you that like what you how you interacted with her made her feel good. And that's nice. Like you said, it doesn't always have to be sexual or other things. It can just be like a nice bond between two human beings. I do want to ask though, because you did have a, a little bit of a sour look on your face last week, watching the Queen's lip sync. Were you really pissed or were you just tired and over it? What was the deal? I, I was I was pissed and I was tired and over um, <laughs> it. It had nothing to do with them. It was all about the thought of, I made it to the top four. Never, I didn't, I, I, did, I didn't give myself that opportunity when I entered the workroom. It, I was just like, okay, as far as I can make it, I'm gonna take it with a grain of salt and be happy with it. But you made it. And then it's like, no, you didn't make it. Somebody gets to come back, you know? And I knew because we were playing fair, mathematically, it was gonna be my turn to go if somebody returned, because I had three bottoms already. Granted, that last drag talk it shouldn't have been considered a bottom because I do feel like I was extremely strong in that. We got great critiques, but a bottom is a bottom, and we kept it that way, you know? Right. So I knew that we were playing a fair game, and fairly, I was out next to go. Why should I be excited about that? What, who, what human? Would bounce right. off the walls about knowing that if I don't win the next challenge, God only knows what that is. I'm going home. 
You were dead woman walking as soon as they announced that. You really and, were, unless you won. Yeah, exactly. And it was like, I, did, I gave it my all to try to win the next challenge. And I was completely satisfied with what I did, but we're being judged. People have opinions. They thought that, you know, Eureka's was better. She And that's just what it is. I can't be mad. The game is the game and that's how the game is played. But because I'm a human being and I have emotions and I'm sensitive about my of course I'm not happy. No, it's not about them. I'm happy that they got the chance to get back on TV and, and, be, and showcase themselves and show their talents, yes. But I am not happy about where it's going to land me. And I have the right to feel that way. Anybody would have the right to feel that way. And we have been in drag all day. Now we got to go into the workroom in the same garment and watch this long <laughs> And you're like in fur, probably sweating. <laughs> my face is itching from the, the, the makeup that I have on, like around my mouth. Like I was trying like not to rub it so it didn't smear. I, my have been up forever. <laughs> it, it, yeah. Like this, this a, drag has a time limit. It's not something that you could just sit around in for 24 hours. We're not right. built that way. <laughs> so yeah, no, it was, it, it was, I was bitter, but for my own reasons, and I'm not going to call them selfish reasons. I think that they were very, very reasonable. Oh and my God. God, Trinity. So going into the finale, who do you love as your winner? And give us a little taste of what you would have done for the finale, you know, had you been into it and shut it down to grab that crown. Oh God. Um, Fun fact, I didn't even have, a, <laughs> this is how much I gave myself credit that I would make it far. I didn't even have a finale look. When I got, it was it was maybe um, a couple episodes, well, closer to the finale where I started making something in my room because I thought to myself, I might actually make it to the end. And I don't have anything really dope to put on. So I started making stuff. And then of course, after that last challenge, they gave us the, um, the finale challenge and you know and you had to write your own and I wrote something that was really 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 powerful and I knew what I wanted to say to Rue and why I felt like I should have won or why I, I needed to win my win was going to be it was bigger than me my win was for all those people who felt like they could not win because the odds were you know set against them you know, and, and you have all these people that believe in you more than you believe in yourself. So that's more reason for me to dedicate myself to getting the crown. Um, but yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> did you, did you um, really not think you were going to go that far? That's why you didn't no. have a finale look? No, actually I did have a finale look. It was what I wore for frills, the, the salmon dress. That would have been my finale dress just in my head. Like, oh, let me bring something glamorous. Um, that's what I brought for that. But I end up changing it because you look around the room and you're like, okay, this they're wearing really strong stuff. And I had just did the Beyonce. Okay. So I didn't want to chance what I did for it. So I put that on because I knew it would be safer. Um, and yeah, but even after that, I'm still like, oh girl, I'll be fine because they wouldn't have got rid of me by then. And is it safe to say that you're team Eureka? You know, do you have another girl that you'd like to win? I, at this point, I do not have a winner. I, um, I'm going to let God handle that and give it to he feel like who is the most worthy because I think that everybody put their best foot forward. I think everybody had their ups and their downs. I think every, everybody has been genuine um, with their story and with each other. All, all the girls that are in, are, that are in the finale. Um, so I don't know. I, I really don't know. I think that everybody is just as qualified. I wish it was a way that they could just give everybody a crown because they all like turned it. I don't think anybody was better than anybody else. I think it's, it was what it was supposed to be an all-star season of the best of the best killing it. So toss a coin. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a really strong season for sure. I loved watching it. You mentioned Beyonce. So I want to ask, did you call Miss Bianca Del Rio and say, who's laughing now? I didn't have, no, I wouldn't do that. Oh my God. That's not, <laughs> I'm not that type of person. I let me tell you something. When I when when we had the little spat and I turned around and I said, "No, bitch, I am Beyonce." I meant that. I don't have to go back and forth with you about something that I already know. You know, 
I, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, when, if I put it out on stage, baby, you're gonna get it. So I ain't gotta, you know. And um, and, and prior to the show, years before that, Bianca had said, "Oh, you cheer Beyonce," you know. She's because she didn't know who I was. So right. then she went and did her homework, and she was like, "Oh no, this is just Beyonce for real." So <laughs> it just it made sense, and it was good. And you know, but for her to say it publicly, it, it was great for me because all of the people who used to ride my coattail about it. You know, they didn't want to see it or believe it because Bianca didn't see it or believe it. You know, these fans is weird. <laughs> you know, people, people will completely just not credit you for the things that you can do that are just completely visible just to support the next person, you know, right. or, you know, that, that, and that, I never understood that. That's crazy. <laughs> Definitely. I, I want to ask about the lip sync with uh, Eureka and Miss Jada Essence Hall. Do you think the right person deserved to win? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I thought Eureka was really, really good. She's a very passionate performer. Um, yeah. Jada was just as good as well, but the, the passion is something that you have to like possess and you see it in their eyes and how they perform to you. You know, some people just perform and move to the music. No, like, she captivates you, like yeah. I do. So no no hard feelings. I know we've been asking, but... <laughs> JoJo, go ahead. Oh, she, he can come on. He can come on the interview. <laughs> JoJo is the biggest dog I have I gonna... seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, JoJo is massive. Look at him. But this is my day. I got. I just got a, a girl. Her name is Luna. She doesn't really care for me too much. She loves my boyfriend, but she don't. She hasn't taken to me yet. So we are trying to get her, and you know, because she can't be here too long barking at me. Shit. That ain't gonna work. I love it. <laughs> oh my okay. god, Trinity! I have to know. To your monologue was so touching. I want to know. Do you? Uh, you know? Did you get the contact, the Instagram for that catfish whose life you saved and changed? Are y'all still in communication? Do you know who he yeah. is? Yes, yes. I do oh. still talk to him. And uh, I, I, I'm glad you said that because I thought about it. I was like, oh, I need to remember to text him and tell him to watch this particular episode because I don't know if he's really been keeping up. But I want him to watch it so you can know, you know, he'll, it'll make sense to him. Um, but yeah, it was a true story. You know, he was like, I ain't mean to, you know, trick you, but I just didn't think you would meet me because people are crazy. Yeah, you. The fuck? <laughs> but... <laughs> It was it was worth it though, and and it's many more experiences, and and people don't go to that level, but either they meet me or they write me and they tell me their stories and how, uh, I've I've changed their lives and how my how who I am and what I've been through has helped them with what they're going through, and all you can think back is is I wouldn't be in this predicament if RuPaul didn't give it to me, if World of Wonder didn't give it to me, you know, if if these people didn't see something in you to allow you to blossom so people can gravitate towards you and, and be inspired by you. So I will always take my hat off to mother because, you know, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at in my life if it was not for this opportunity. I, I couldn't say anything bad ever about her. I don't see how anybody could, but I can speak for them girls. <laughs> For sure. Well, Trinity, it's been such a pleasure talking to you. I loved watching you this season, just like I lo loved watching you in season six. Tell us what the rest of 2021 holds for Trinity K. Bonet. Well, hopefully next weekend I will be Miss Continental. So if anybody wants to, uh, you know, sponsor a girl and throw me some coins, girl, just send it my way. It's my demo. It's my name. I'm just winning yes. out. Because this shit is expensive, okay? Now, you know, I didn't win this show, damn it. I'm trying to get me another crown. <laughs> Tip a queen. So, uh, yeah, so I'll be doing Continental. Um, in, in the end of this year, I'm doing a stage play in the UK um, with Tamishi Iman and uh, some of the UK girls. So that should be really exciting. I'll be posting about that soon. And then, yeah, it's just traveling, music, media. Like, I'm going to be pushing a lot of content out. I really want to uh, show people who I am. I think I want my own, like, little online reality show. Because I'm really fun and, and, and I... My life is interesting, and I want people to see that. Like, not from drag race, but from my take, you know. Yes, yes, I love it. Well, we will be following along. Travis and I are huge fans. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you so much, JoJo. Say bye-bye. Bye, JoJo. Bye, JoJo. Bye, JoJo. Say bye-bye. Real star. <laughs> <laughs>